Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, we're going to be looking at a short video, about less than five minutes. We're going to try that. And we're going to talk about Linux malware. So one of the things that's going on is, as you know, Linux is growing. Uh, it has, In the desktop arena, it's about 4.5% of the marketplace. If you look at, however, Linux as a whole, including the servers and and cell phones and all that, it's only about 1.8% still. So it, we still occupy a pretty small amount of the, of the uh, marketplace, but 4.5% of the desktop, that's, that's huge to us. And so as the number of people start using Linux grows, the more and more that threats will be uh, coming at the people that are using Linux. Uh, so anyway, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to talk about three different uh, pieces of uh, software that I use for security, one of which you already know, which is Linus. Linus is used to tell us how to harden our box, and, uh, and the other two are to detect malware. That's what we're going to look at today is one of those, and then next time we'll come back and talk about the other one. So let's dive in and get started on this. So as you can see, um, I'm running on my M1 Mac. So the, the tools that I'm going to show you work equally well on an M1 running Asahi as they do an x86. I have tested these even uh, on the Snapdragon running under WSL, so they will work there as well. Now, it's not going to help you detect uh, malware on Windows it, it, because you're in a virtual machine in that environment under WSL, so it's only going to tell you about what's going on in Linux. So I'm going to pull down the, the GitHub for this. And we'll go into the directory. And as you can see, there's a number of things that are here. There's a, a cron daily task that is run. Uh, there's also an install.shell and then a readme. And the readme file, these, the documentation that comes with these is just excellent. They give you a good description of what the package does. They talk about the number of software uh, hashes that are currently out there uh, for identifying both anti both viruses and malware. There's 8,882 current ones that LMD 1.5 knows about. So then they talk about some of the features and what it does. Uh, they they do use Clam AV as part of this, but they also rely on the MD5 signatures in order to identify malware in the system that may be Clam AV is not looking for. Yeah. And so then they talk about the where this threat source data comes from. Uh, network edge, IPS. There's four of them in here that they list. There are signature updates that come down one or more per day. That's the reason for the cron job. That's to update the uh, the signature files so that you always have the latest of those. Then the package itself seems to be on an update cycle of about once a year or so. If you don't do anything to the config, it will put it by default in uh, user local. It'll create a directory called uh, MALDET, as you can see right here. This is where it put it in this directory right here. And then it creates the file. So it'll look at the number of files and then it'll report uh, if how many files it scanned, how many hits it had, how many how many things were cleaned, and then it's going to take a little bit longer because there's a lot of files in here. <laughs> and hundred files. Yeah, most of that is because of Pharonix and the number of times I've run it. So this is going to take a while to run. I'm not going to re just wait. Let's take a look at the config where you can find that. You'll see it right there. And uh, it's right there, config. And we can uh, we can just look down through here. So there's there's an email alert is currently disabled. This would be the email address that you would want. If it does find something, it will email you the report. Um, yeah, there's max file size that I'll look at. If you need to make adjustments to this, yeah, you can. 
Let's see. Uh, there's you'll want to go through the um, the instructions in here for all of these. There's as you can see, there's quite a few options. I like the fact that you know it, that all these things are set up well. It has all of their software has a very consistent installation method, and I really like that. So that's all I had for today. I hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. Bye for now.